Stop. Before you flush, look down. I'm dead serious. That thing you just did, it might have saved your life. Or you just missed a massive red flag. See, your poop isn't just waste. It's a message. A color-coded warning system your body uses when something's going terribly wrong inside. And here's the scary part. Most people ignore it. They flush without thinking. And by the time symptoms show up, it's often too late. I'm going to show you a chart today. Seven colors. Three of them are deadly. And if you see even one of these in your toilet, you need to act fast. Stay with me. Because what you're about to learn could literally save your life or someone you love. Let's talk about the colors your body is screaming at you with. The brown standard. All right, let's start with the boring one. Brown. If your poop is brown, light brown, medium brown, even dark brown, congratulations. Your digestive system is doing its job. You're healthy. Move on with your day. But here's what most people don't know. Why is poop brown? It's not the food. It's bile. Your liver produces bile, this greenish-yellow fluid that helps break down fats. As bile travels through your intestines, bacteria transform it into a compound called stercobilin. And that's what gives poop its classic brown color. So when you see brown, that means your liver is working, your gallbladder is releasing bile, your intestines are moving food at a normal pace, everything's in sync. But the second that brown color changes, that sink is broken. And that's when your body starts waving red flags. Now, you might be thinking, okay, so brown is normal. Got it. But what if it's a little darker or lighter? Good question. Dark brown is usually fine. Maybe you ate a lot of red meat or took iron supplements. Lighter brown? Maybe you had a lot of dairy or carbs. Still safe. But here's the line. If your poop is so dark, it's almost black. Or so light, it's almost white. We're crossing into dangerous territory and we'll get to those in a second. For now, just remember, brown equals baseline. It's your body's way of saying, all systems normal, and that's the color you want to see every single time. Green poop. Okay, now let's talk about green. You wake up, you go to the bathroom, you look down, and what the hell? It's green, like Hulk green. First reaction, panic. Am I dying? Is this cancer? Do I have some rare disease? Deep breath. In most cases, you're fine. Green poop is actually super common. And here's why it happens. Remember bile? It starts out green. Normally, as it moves through your intestines, bacteria break it down and turn it brown. But if food moves through your system too fast, say because of diarrhea or a stomach bug, the bile doesn't have time to change color. So it comes out green. Simple as that. Now, what causes food to speed through your gut? Could be a lot of things. Food poisoning, a stomach virus, even stress or anxiety can speed up your digestion. You ever get nervous and suddenly need to run to the bathroom? Yeah, that. Green poop can also happen if you eat a ton of leafy greens. Spinach, kale, broccoli, they're loaded with chlorophyll. Eat enough of it and your poop might have a greenish tint. Totally harmless. Oh, and artificial food coloring? If you drank a bright blue or green sports drink, ate a bunch of candy or had cake with green frosting, boom. Green poop. It happens. So in most cases, green is not an emergency. But, and this is important, if your poop is green and you have severe stomach pain, fever, or it lasts more than a few days, that could mean an infection, salmonella, E. coli, parasites. At that point, you need to see a doctor, because infections don't just go away. They get worse. Bottom line, green poop, usually harmless. But if it sticks around or comes with other symptoms, don't ignore it. Yellow poop. Now we're getting into weirder territory, yellow poop. And I'm not talking about a light tan. I'm talking bright yellow, like mustard. And it's greasy, oily, it floats. And the smell? Oh, man, it's bad, like unusually foul. If that's what you're seeing, your body is trying to tell you something serious. Yellow greasy poop usually means one thing. Your body isn't absorbing fat properly. And that's a big deal. Because fat is essential. Your body needs it to absorb vitamins like A, D, E, and K. It needs it for energy, for hormone production, for brain function. 
So when fat isn't being absorbed, it just passes straight through, and that's what makes your poop yellow, oily, and floating. Now, why would this happen? The most common cause? Your pancreas isn't producing enough enzymes. See, your pancreas makes digestive enzymes that break down fat. If those enzymes are low, maybe because of chronic pancreatitis, cystic fibrosis, or even pancreatic cancer, fat doesn't get digested, and you get steatorrhea. That's the medical term for fatty yellow poop. Another cause, celiac disease. If you have celiac and you eat gluten, your small intestine gets damaged. And when that happens, it can't absorb nutrients, including fat. So again, yellow, greasy poop. Gallbladder problems can also cause this. If your gallbladder isn't releasing enough bile, fats don't break down properly. Same result. Here's the thing. Yellow poop is not something you should brush off. If it happens once, maybe you ate something super greasy or fatty. But if it keeps happening, you need to get checked out. Because untreated pancreatic or digestive issues don't just cause discomfort. They can lead to malnutrition, weight loss, and serious complications down the road. Don't wait. If your poop looks like melted butter and smells like death, call your doctor. Black poop, the bleeding sign. All right, here's where things get really serious black poop. And I'm not talking dark brown. I mean black, tarry, sticky, almost like road asphalt. If you see that, you need to stop everything and pay attention because black tarry poop is one of the most dangerous signs your body can give you. It means there's bleeding. And not just any bleeding. Bleeding high up in your digestive tract, your stomach, your esophagus, maybe your small intestine. Here's what's happening inside your body. When blood sits in your stomach or upper intestines, stomach acid breaks it down. The iron in the blood oxidizes and turns black. By the time it comes out, it looks like tar. And that's called melena, medical term for black tarry stool caused by internal bleeding. Now, what causes that bleeding? Stomach ulcers are a big one. If you have an ulcer, maybe from H. pylori bacteria, chronic NSAID use like ibuprofen, or heavy alcohol drinking, that ulcer can bleed, and that blood turns your poop black. Esophageal varices are another cause. These are swollen veins in your esophagus, usually from liver disease or cirrhosis. If one of those veins ruptures, massive bleeding. Black poop, gastritis, inflammation of the stomach lining, can also cause bleeding. And in rare cases, stomach or esophageal cancer. Here's the scary part. By the time you see black poop, you might have already lost a significant amount of blood. You might feel weak, dizzy, or short of breath. That's anemia kicking in. Now, I need to make one thing clear. Not all black poop is bleeding. If you're taking iron supplements, Pepto-Bismol, or eating a lot of black licorice or blueberries, your poop can turn black. That's harmless. But here's how you tell the difference. If it's from food or supplements, your poop will be black but normal in texture, formed, solid. If it's from bleeding, your poop will be black and sticky, tarry, almost like wet tar, and it'll smell awful. Seriously, it's a smell you won't forget. If you see black tarry poop, don't wait. Don't Google. Don't hope it goes away. Go to the ER, or at the very least, call your doctor immediately. Because internal bleeding doesn't fix itself, it gets worse. And in severe cases, it can be life-threatening. Red poop. Blood or beets. Let's talk about red. Bright red poop. If you see it and your heart stops. Oh my God, is that blood? Maybe, maybe not. Red poop can mean two very different things. And knowing the difference could save you a lot of panic. Or catch something serious early. Let's start with the harmless stuff. If you ate beets, tomatoes, cranberries, or red food coloring, your poop can turn red or reddish. It's just pigment passing through, totally normal. Red Jello, red Gatorade, yep, those too. So if you know you ate something red in the last 24 hours, you're probably fine. But what if you didn't? Then we're talking about blood. And the big question is, where is that blood coming from? Here's the rule. Bright red blood usually means bleeding in your lower digestive tract, your colon, your rectum, your anus. The most common cause? Hemorrhoids. 
Hemorrhoids are swollen veins around your anus. They can bleed when you strain during a bowel movement. You'll see bright red blood on the toilet paper or coating your stool. It might sting a little, but it's not dangerous. Anal fissures, small tears in the lining of your anus, can also cause bright red blood. Again, not life-threatening, but painful. Now, here's the scary part. Bright red blood can also be a sign of colorectal cancer, or polyps, or inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. And unlike hemorrhoids, these are serious. These need treatment. So how do you know if the blood is just a few streaks on the paper or around the stool and it goes away quickly? Probably hemorrhoids. But if you're seeing blood mixed into your stool, or a lot of blood in the toilet bowl, or it keeps happening over days or weeks, that's a red flag. Literally. Other warning signs to watch for. Changes in bowel habits, diarrhea, constipation, narrower stools, abdominal pain or cramping, unexplained weight loss, fatigue. If you have any of these along with red poop, don't wait. See a doctor. Get a colonoscopy if needed. Because colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer in the U.S. But when caught early, through screening or by paying attention to symptoms like this, it's highly treatable. So don't brush off red poop even if you think it's just hemorrhoids. Get it checked. Better safe than sorry. White or pale poop, the liver alert. Okay, this is the one that freaks doctors out. White or pale, clay-colored poop. If your poop looks like chalk or light gray clay, that is an emergency. Do not pass go. Do not wait until Monday. Call your doctor now. Here's why. Remember bile? That greenish fluid your liver makes that turns your poop brown? If your poop is white or pale, that means there's no bile reaching your intestines. Zero. And that means something is blocking your bile ducts, or your liver isn't producing bile at all. Either way, that's a major problem. Let's break down what could cause this. Bile duct obstruction. This happens when something, a gallstone, a tumor, or scar tissue, blocks the tube that carries bile from your liver to your intestines. Without bile, your poop turns pale. Symptoms you might notice, yellowing of your skin and eyes, jaundice, dark urine, your body tries to get rid of excess bile through your kidneys instead, and itchy skin. Hepatitis. This is inflammation of the liver, usually caused by a viral infection. If your liver is too inflamed to produce bile, your poop turns pale. Cirrhosis. Severe liver scarring from alcohol abuse, chronic hepatitis, or fatty liver disease. When your liver is this damaged, it stops functioning properly. Liver cancer. In rare cases, tumors can block bile production or the bile ducts. Pancreatitis, severe inflammation of the pancreas, can also block bile ducts. And here's the kicker. All of these conditions are serious. Some are life-threatening if not treated quickly. Pale poop doesn't just mean something's off. It means your liver or bile system is in crisis mode. If you see this, you might also notice your urine is super dark, like tea or cola. Your skin and the whites of your eyes are yellow. You feel tired, weak, or nauseous. You have abdominal pain, especially in the upper right side. Don't ignore any of this. Get to a doctor ASAP. They'll run blood tests, imaging scans, maybe an ultrasound or CT to figure out what's blocking the bile or damaging your liver. Because here's the truth. Liver and bile duct problems don't fix themselves. They get worse fast. So if your poop is white, gray, or pale, that's your body screaming for help. Listen to it. Orange poop, the food clue. Last one, orange poop. This one's usually not dangerous, but it can still tell you something useful. Most of the time, orange poop comes from what you ate. Foods high in beta-carotene, like carrots, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, or butternut squash, can give your poop an orange tint. Totally harmless. Some antibiotics, antacids, or medications with aluminum hydroxide can also turn your stool orange. But here's the catch. If your poop is orange and greasy or oily, that could mean a problem with your bile ducts or liver, similar to what we just talked about with pale poop. Not as severe, but still worth checking. And if your poop is orange along with diarrhea, that could be a sign that food is moving through your system too fast and bile isn't being fully processed. Bottom line, orange poop is usually nothing to worry about. But if it sticks around or comes with other weird symptoms, mention it to your doctor just in case.
All right, let's wrap this up. You just learned about seven poop colors. Some are harmless, some are warning signs, and three of them, black, red, and white, are genuine emergencies. Here's what I want you to do. Number one, start paying attention. I know it's gross, I know it's uncomfortable, but looking at your poop before you flush could literally save your life. Number two, know your baseline. What's normal for you? Once you know that, changes become obvious. Number three, don't wait. If you see black tarry poop, bright red blood, or pale clay-colored stool, get help. Don't wait a week. Don't hope it goes away. Act. And finally, share this. Send it to your parents, your friends, your partner, because most people have no idea their poop is trying to warn them. Your body talks. Poop is one of the loudest messages it sends. Don't ignore it. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you in the next one.